Yeah. If, if I, I die today, I die cold, bloody killer. Women at my service, but they better not touch my skrillor. If we die today, we taking all them niggas with us. They gon' make a movie, body, give them something to remember. You know, one of y'all is gonna die today. Maybe even both of y'all. <laughs> Hell, probably all three of us. <laughs> well, hello, old friends. I've been dreaming about this very moment for quite some time. Don't kill me. Kill, kill that nigga. That, that, sir, sir. This the nigga you need to kill. Come on, son. You talk about death every single day. Now you're too scared. Hell yeah, I'm scared. Wait, hold on. First of all, who are you? You got me tied up. You eating breakfast. I'm hungry. He ain't asking that I want to play. And I don't even know your name. It hasn't been that long since we've all been together. I know both of you. And y'all can't remember my name? That's <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm depression. And I'm inside of each and every one of you. Matter of fact, I am you. Just a, a different side of you, a darker side of you. And you, <laughs> your anxiety. Anxiety, I remember when you used to call yourself ambition. You had everything going for you then. You graduated number 11 in your high school class, even got a full ride to Morehouse College. Had a beautiful girlfriend at the time. What was her name? I shot to you. <laughs> oh yeah, what we changed? What happened? Oh, I remember. You let fear control you. Gentlemen, let's remind the class what fear is. False evidence appearing real. Ah, yes. False evidence appearing real. You see, you let fear cripple you. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's funny. You know better, but you simply choose not to do better. See, you changed your name from ambition to an anxiety, dropped out of school, lived on your mama's couch till she kicked you out, and now you're here in the same position that you were fearful of. And your name is hopelessness. The same fear that lives in him resides in you. Your best friend died, now you gave up on life. Woe is me, woe is me. You want everybody else to feel the same exact way you do, that same pain you feel, you want people to feel that. That's selfish. We all die, right? You either kill yourself or get killed. So what you gonna do? That's not a positive outlook, my friend. You have a purpose. Everyone has a purpose. If we didn't, God would have had no reason to create us. Yet your greatest sense of this earth would be that you are the light of the world and you purposely choose not to shine. This leads me to my final act. Because neither of you lived up to your potential. Neither of you left the legacy. Now I must eradicate you. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We're all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light so shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Wake up every morning and thank God for all this stuff. You niggas be born, you